everybody and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a three-day study with me wednesday thursday friday as a finalist um here at oxford um if you don't know me if you happen to have clicked on this video and you're like who is this girl my name is eve i study german and spanish at lmh college here in oxford and my finals are in less than two months um so i'm really trying to put my foot down at the moment and revise I'm going to do a little bit of an introduction talking about generally like how I study because I'm so aware that everybody studies differently. Mind the ASOS parcels in the back, they're going to get returned tomorrow. Everybody studies differently, everybody has like different methods of approaching things. So I wanted to like talk about how I study, not to tell you to copy me, but just so you know that like that's just how I work because I know that some people find that useful. So basically, I finished term three three weeks ago just over three weeks ago and the holiday is only actually six weeks including the week before term which kind of isn't really a week not in term because you kind of have stuff in that week but five six weeks anyway the first week after term finished i was still doing my coursework which is why i didn't upload for so long because that took a year off my life minimum i don't know why i found it so stressful it just i really struggled with it and i yeah i was basically just doing that solid for that whole week the second week after i took the week off because you're advised to take a week off i don't know why they advise you to do that because there is like obviously it's really important to take a week off and i took a week off because i needed it after eight weeks of term and then a week of coursework um and i know eight weeks doesn't sound that long but like oxford terms are very short but they're very intense so i was knackered so i took a week off i went to new york you might have seen the vlog for that last week honestly my body just completely crashed um i did manage to get a bit of work done but honestly i didn't get as much done as i really would have liked and i wasn't really very focused and i was just so tired i barely left the flat um and i just what i just wasn't motivated to go to libraries or anything and like that's kind of was stopping me from just really getting in the zone but anyway this week i am on it i am on i'm switched on serious eve revision mode for the first time in three years which has been an adjustment but basically how I'm doing things is I'm trying to do seven hours a day over the next two weeks. Hear me out. I know a lot of you might be thinking that is loads. Number one, there's just so much to cover. Like I have nine papers overall and I've done one, but like eight of them count for my finals. So 90% of my entire degree rests on eight. No, 90%. Yeah, 90% of my entire degree rests on eight exams in two months. So there is a lot to cover um, and secondly because I took um, because I had a week taken up with coursework and I took a week off and last week I just really wasn't in the headspace I am a little bit kind of behind where I would want to be at this point and so I am aiming to do roughly seven hours a day for the next two weeks which are the last two weeks before term starts um, it's currently Wednesday and I managed it on Monday and Tuesday so I've only managed it for two days um, but I'm trying to be like 100% flexible and honest to myself if I'm struggling and it's currently coming up to 11 o'clock and I still haven't started work today and normally I'm the sort of person that would start at 9, 10 because I'm much more of a morning worker than an evening worker and I have been taking my evenings completely off to like do other things so I really generally will not work past 7, 7.30 um, and then the rest of the evening is for like errands and stuff and to eat something nutritious and to watch some tv um so today i think i'm only gonna do six hours because i know that like my brain is clearly being like whoa whoa let's just calm down so i think today instead of doing my normal schedule i'm going to change it a bit but for reference my normal schedule is normally um i do three hours work in the morning so normally like nine to twelve or ten to one um and i just put forest on my phone which is an app where you like grow trees and if you go on your phone while the app's like counting down like an hour or two hours or whatever then the trees die so i have no phone on i have it on like do not disturb and i really do just work for three hours that's kind of how my brain works like i that's the sort of slot of time that i work best for like two three hours in one go then i take an hour or an hour and a half break for lunch so i'm the sort of person that just prefers taking like a longer break after a bigger stint rather than lots of little breaks um, and then I do three hours in the afternoon, so normally like half one to half four or like two to five. And then um, if I've been in town, which I normally am now, then I will come back and do one more hour here. Um, and that's been working pretty well for me um, a little bit last week and very much the last two days. So that's what you'll kind of be seeing in this video and in, and in other videos that I'm going to do because I think it definitely works for me as a structure. Um, I used to do like eight hours a day at GCSE. <laughs> 
I, like, I could not like I feasibly could not do eight I just can't do it so I'm gonna stick to six or seven and I think that that for me works I also want to say that it's totally fine if you do not measure how you work in hours because some people really enjoy doing that some people absolutely hate it I personally have always done that and it's always worked for me but if it doesn't work for you that's fine so on Monday I was in the Radcliffe camera library and yesterday I was in my faculty library I think today I'm gonna work from my room sorry to be very boring but tomorrow I'm gonna go back to the Radcam and then I think Friday I'm going to go to the Veer Harmsworth so I'm trying to mix up where I'm studying so like different libraries on different days and that's always a really good way of like keeping things fresh so basically the plan for today is to work 11 till 1 and then have a break till 2 and then work 2 till 4 and then have a break till 5 and then work from 5 till 7 because I can tell that my brain is not on full capacity today and that it's going to need more rest and I think that some days you have to accept that because if you don't then it won't work out very well. So it's coming up to 11 o'clock now, it's just gone 10 to 11. So for the first two hours, I'm gonna be doing Medieval, which is my weakest paper by far. Um, and I'm just, at the moment, I am just recapping my old lecture notes and going over the notes that I've already got. That's the plan for the next two weeks to see where I'm at and where I need to fill in the gaps. And then the four or five weeks after that leading up to exams is gonna be like finding specific quotes, specific examples, specific things to like augment what I kind of have already got in my head as background knowledge because a lot of the stuff that I'm studying, I haven't studied for like two years because I did it in my second year and then I had a year abroad and all of my second year and all of my fourth year content counts towards the 90% of my degree, which I'm gonna do in, in a few weeks. So just a case of refreshing everything at the moment. Okay, this was the longest introduction ever. I'm so sorry, you probably did not even want that, but I feel like I kind of needed to do that. Otherwise, it wasn't really gonna make sense. I wanna film a fair few study with me for the next few weeks, so I kinda just wanted to lay the base of like how I work and what I'm doing, just so I don't have to explain it every single time. But anyway, I'm gonna go and get a drink and then we'll get started with today's work. I cannot lie, I am really struggling for motivation this morning, so I've gone for something that's not instrumental, like study music, but just something that's like background. So I've gone for this like chilled crooner playlist of like Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong and stuff in the hope that it will make me feel like I'm studying abroad in a cafe somewhere, I don't know. We can try. <laughs> so I started off today by going through a lecture that I went to a few weeks ago. As I said, the stuff that I'm revising at the moment is from two years ago and I'm not gonna lie, it has been very overwhelming because you cover everything so quickly here and you don't have every, like as much detail as you kind of need and it's just like, oh my God, I've forgotten everything, but it's gonna be fine. I put Forest on, which has been very helpful for tracking how long I've been focusing for because I literally can't go on my phone because I cannot allow the trees to die. I just can't do it. Then I decided to hand write out the notes because I find sometimes when I write it out by hand, it goes in my head better. I don't know why, even though it takes longer, but yeah, um, it was very helpful. Oh my god, this spot on the lens is going to drive me mad. I am so sorry. I will get that fixed ASAP. Just finished that lecture. Um, that one was the one I actually attended in person. And I've just very luckily realised that the one that I missed because I had COVID was recorded. So I am going to watch this one now because I, hopefully this should be actually really helpful. And have some Haribo peaches that I bought back from America because I am in need of some sugar today. Lay it on me. <laughs> So I have done about two hours. This absolute crater on my chin is just really not giving me a good look today. I'm now gonna have an hour's break for lunch because I'm super hungry. Um, I've nearly finished that lecture. It always takes so much longer than the time because I have to keep pausing, getting writing stuff down, but it is very helpful. So yeah, I'm gonna go and have some lunch. No idea what I'm gonna have. I also forgot to mention that um, I'm basically alone in the flat this week. One of my flatmates is here, but she's kind of going in and out of London. So I'm basically alone for a whole week in the flat until everyone is kind of coming back. So it's very really quiet. And there have been days where I have genuinely not spoken to anybody else um, because so many of my friends are like home or away or just like no one's around basically, which is good for my work. But yeah, it's just very weird. A little outfit of the day for you. This hoodie is from At Prey Sunday. Got it ages ago, but it is so big and cozy and made from sustainable materials. So love it. I can't remember where the leggings are from. They're just black leggings. And then socks are from ASOS. As you can see, the kitchen is looking very colorful. We put up some springy summery decorations, but there's also so much stuff that I need to like organize. And was very kindly left some washing up in the sink to sort out as well, so. Yeah. Today for lunch we have the absolutely riveting uh, lunch of a jacket potato with beans, which is my favourite lunch 
and the worst part is they're frozen jacket potatoes because I have nothing else in the fridge um and an innocent smoothie and a frube am I a child very potentially okay guys back at it I'm now gonna finish whoa what's happening here I'm now gonna finish okay no that was not that's not better I'm now gonna finish the lecture that I was watching and then I'm gonna go on to golden age um, I'm tending to alternate my days so one day I have four literature papers and so one day I'm doing like two papers which aren't my sort of big period papers and the other day I'm doing the period papers and like it's nice because I'm kind of like associate them with each other and yeah basically that's how I'm doing it I'm not gonna lie we are struggling today but we are gonna keep going because we've already done two hours and what's another two hours between friends you know how hard can it can it realistically be <laughs> So for this session I finished off that lecture and then I went on to revising some content from second year. I am not one to advocate like just reading and highlighting as a form of revision but I do find that when you're going over stuff you've not done for a while and you're kind of just trying to get an idea of what you know and what you don't, then just going through and reading but like actively annotating the notes with other thoughts that you can kind of link bits together is very helpful. Another two hours successfully finished, what is that? very weird um, i'm now gonna have another hour's break because as i said today i'm trying to be kind to myself and not overdo it um i am gonna quickly go and do the washing up that's in the sink because it's bothering me like i can i can feel it in my mind's eye i can see it in my mind's eye yeah um and just sense its presence in the flat and i, I kind of want it gone and i'm also going to prep my ingredients for dinner because i know that when i finish another two hours i'm not going to want to do that and I'm gonna wanna chill. So I'm gonna just quickly do that because it'll take like five minutes. Um, and then I'm gonna watch some more Modern Family. Very exciting. <laughs> hey guys, oh, that spot is getting worse and worse. You know what, why don't I just put in the middle of my face? That's kind of fun. Um, for the last two hours today, I think I'm just gonna do vocab. Um, I would normally only do one hour of vocab a day, but I didn't do it a couple of days ago, so I feel like today's a good chance to make up for that. And I'm kind of just in a vocab sort of mood. I feel like I'll probably do that for a couple of hours, um, and it never hurts to learn more vocab, so. The, for the final session today, I just did some vocab, as you can see. I'm a big advocate for Quizlet. This isn't sponsored by Quizlet. I have worked with them before, but like you guys know that my entire my entire academic career has been founded upon Quizlet. Um, so I started and did an hour at my desk and then I did an hour in bed because you can do vocab in bed. Like that's totally acceptable and it's cozy. <laughs> So this is my dinner, it's a HelloFresh recipe. I This is not sponsored by HelloFresh, but this box was gifted. Um, long story, you'll see in a couple of weeks um, why, but this video is not sponsored by HelloFresh. I genuinely do just order HelloFresh boxes all the time. Um, this one is a pan fried hake with walnut parsley pesto, and I am so hungry and so excited to eat this right now. Good morning everyone, so it has just gone half nine. I couldn't get to sleep last night, okay. Mainly because I was watching Bridgerton. I've got one episode left to go, so I'm definitely going to be watching that later. But I'm now going to head to the rag camp for 10 o'clock and just get my grind on. I'm in a mood to be really productive today. So clearly feeling energetic and ready to go because it is all over the place. Um, so let's go. <laughs> So I headed on into town, I was listening to Sam Fender, All Is On My Side is his best song. I cannot believe that I had not discovered this one until recently, but that, that song has been on repeat this month. The weather was absolutely lovely today, but it was so windy, I almost got blown away. Um, but I always find that it's good to go into town to work, purely because it's a 15, 20 minute walk, and like when the weather's nice, it's nice to just be grateful for the fact that I live in such an amazing city, um, and to just get some exercise, because when I don't move a lot during the day, I don't really have time to do the gym regularly, regularly at the moment, so it's just a good way to get some steps in and just to keep moving. Anyway, for the first two hours, I was doing Vargasiosa, which is honestly my favourite paper to revise because I do find him really interesting. I was just going through some of my notes and I did get a little bit uh, overwhelmed because basically his novels are absolutely massive and they're so long and so many characters and I was just like, how am I, like, I cannot get it all in my head. But I was basically writing down some critics quotes that I could use in the exam. Thankfully it's open book so I don't have to memorise them. I really don't know what I would do if my exams were not open book. I think I would have had a complete breakdown by now. But anyway, moving on. Then I was going through some essay phrases. Just basically I make like cheat sheets for my for my essay papers for the ones that I have. Like I have to write essays in the language. Um, and so I was making some cheat sheets for those of like key phrases that are good to use. So that I can memorise them before my language exams which are in person. They're not open book. 
Then I just did a little bit of vocab for 10 minutes to round off the first session. Then I headed out for lunch. The rag camp's looking beautiful. It is so pretty. Like I can see why all the tourists just want to get inside of it. Um, they're not allowed in sadly, but imagine if there was tourists in the library, that would be an absolute nightmare. I wouldn't get any work done. <laughs> anyway, sidetrack. Um, headed to the covered market and I went to Sassy's Thai, which if you're in Oxford and you haven't been to Sassy's Thai, it's amazing. You can get two sides and rice for £8.50, which for Oxford prices is great. And it's very filling. I got the red fish curry and the chili squid. The chili squid I wasn't the biggest fan of. Um, that was the first time I tried that, but as you can tell, they have so much nice stuff and the fish curry is so good. So I was living my best life, even though it's very spicy, much spicier than usual. Then for the second session of the day, I did linguistics. I was looking at standardization and also language purism. Again, I'm just trying to go over everything. Linguistics is super interesting, but I very much feel out of my depth um, with all of it, but we're, we're getting there. And I did really enjoy the historical linguistics part. So it is really fun to revise because I do find it absolutely fascinating. I was basically just going through my essays and like just getting an overview of the topics. Um, and yeah, and then I decided to walk back through the park because I wanted some greenery <laughs> hello everyone so i was gonna do another two hours in town but i was gonna go to the bod which is next to the rad cam and it turns out it shuts at five and it's now five o'clock so i decided to come back and work in the kitchen which i never normally do but no one is in the flat so the kitchen no one's gonna come in and interrupt and it's bright in here and i have free tea rather than have to pay for a tea in a cafe so i'm gonna do another two hours now i'm gonna do an hour of grammar revision of points that i've kind of highlighted from my translations that i tend to get wrong quite frequently and then an hour of vocab and then hopefully that should bring us up to seven o'clock and i'll be seeing like how tired i am whether i want to there's something that i need to do this evening but i could also feasibly do it in the morning so we shall see <laughs> For the last two hours, I just had some music on and I was just going through weak points of my grammar that I always tend to get wrong um, and doing some exercises and also vocab and that brought us up to seven hours for today. So was very successful. I'm gonna end this video here for today because all I've done tonight is make dinner, FaceTime my mom. I'm actually gonna go home to see them for dinner on Sunday, which will be super nice. I've not seen them in a while. Um, and I'm now going to have a shower. I need to do some YouTube work and then I'm gonna watch Bridgerton. So very exciting evening, but yeah, I'm so tired, so. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's just gone half past nine. Um, I was up at seven this morning filming some YouTube content because I wasn't really in the mood to do it last night and I feel like I need to be in the mood to do things like that. So I'm a bit tired, I'm not gonna lie, but we're just gonna push through. I've got a really busy next few days and this is the last day of this vlog, so I want to be productive. And um, wow, I actually look remotely human for the first time in this vlog. What a crazy, what a crazy experience, who knew? Um, I'm all ready to go, I look a bit like a pack mule. I've got my folders in here, I've got my stuff in my rucksack, and I also have a bag of ASOS parcels which I need to take to return now, and I've also got my keep cup so I can go and get a coffee from Taylor's. Before I go to the Taylor library, there's Taylor's the coffee shop, then there's Taylor's, no, Taylor's is the coffee shop, Taylorian is the library where everyone calls it Taylor. So I'm going from Taylor's to the Taylor to do some work. I have a nail appointment this afternoon and I can't decide what colour I'm gonna get, so I'm hoping that my my hard thinking about my degree will, will somehow bring me to a decision. I don't know how, anyway. So I heard somebody blasting some Jamiroquai out of their car, so I was listening to Jamiroquai all the way into town, which I was honestly having a great time doing. I don't know why I literally paused to show you this, but there you go. Then I got a coffee from Taylor's, um, no, from, yeah, from Taylor's. God, I'm getting so confused. And headed to the Taylor, when and Everything was good and I found that my favourite little cubby hole was free and I was so happy and then I realised that I'd forgotten my MacBook charger. And honestly, oh my god, that is the worst when you have a whole day planned and you just, like, it all just comes crashing down. Anyway, went all over town and they had no MacBook chargers in stock anywhere. I needed a new one anyway, but I couldn't find one, so that was great. So I just went to Tesco and got a taxi back, I just gave up, honestly. Also, please don't mind my snotty nose in the next clip. I didn't even realise. Um, I went to get tissue straight after this clip and I just didn't even realise. So sorry. Okay. Well, guys, that was really not how I saw today going at all. And it's really annoying when you, like, have a vision in your mind of how the day's going to go and then one little thing happens. I honestly am so frustrated because if it had been term time, there would have definitely been somebody, like, in the library that I knew or, like, around town. But because no one is here, basically, I had no choice. Um, and by the time I'd kind of walked all the way around town... I honestly just got a taxi back because I was like, you know what? I was in Tesco and I could feel myself getting really panicked and you guys know me that I get when I'm stressed, you know, one little thing is enough to just send me off. Um, and so I tried to fight against my better instincts and not completely freak out. 
it's not gone to plan today but equally it doesn't mean that I have to completely lose it and have a meltdown like I would have done at A level or GCSE. So I've come back, I'm gonna put my shopping away and I'm just gonna work in my room today. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. But I'm actually kind of glad that happened because I think it kind of is a bit more realistic because yeah, I am the sort of person that will work super hard but also stuff happens and one little thing can really derail your whole plan for a day, especially when you don't live right by town and then you have to come all the way back. I thought there was no point in going back into town by which point I'm gonna be shattered. So yeah, I think actually this is actually good that this happened for this video to be a little bit more to make this video as realistic as possible anyway i'm gonna end this video here thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it even if it was a little bit all over the place um but so is life um and be sure to subscribe and comment down below if you have any requests and i'll see you very soon with a new video bye guys Mwah.